Show. Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. And if you watch my uh, video of me getting to level 10, then you'll know why I'm making a video for for this. Um, but as you can see, I am at 4112. Okay, 4112. That's my personal best. And I mean, I could show you my activity log, but it's not gonna be accurate. Uh, this, the first one, I did battle, and that's what got me to my new best, but a bunch of, these are mainly just friendly battles and tournament, these are just tournaments and a classic challenge, but, yeah, so, those are just classic challenges and battles, and I did play, surprisingly, yesterday, I, uh, I'm sorry, Surprisingly, I played two level 12s. Okay, here's one level 12 with a level 7 bowler and level 4 ice wizard. Okay, that's just insane. Obviously, I lost that. I, I can't beat that. Okay, but right here, I believe it's this one. No, it's not. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I think it's him right here. But if you, I won against a level 12. All level 12 commons, level 6 goblin barrel, that comes out level 11 goblins. Along with the level 9 goblin hunt, which comes out level 11 spear goblins. So, his deck, I guess, I won because, you know, doesn't have a tank in it. But, he is um, a leader of Florida Orange at 4,000, so, I, I, I lost against a level 12, and I won against a level 12, so the deck, I, oh, not this deck, the deck I am using is this deck, and I can upgrade my Inferno to Tower to level 8, but, um, not, I don't think I need to yet, let's open up this free chest, see what we could get, one hog, 11 goblins, okay, and we'll see, and as you can see, I am in a classic challenge, I did lose to the first one, I was using a troll deck, I believe, and the second one I just lost. But I'm, I'll battle that um, once in this video, and I'll op also open up this clan chest right now and see what we could get. So two epics and 27 rares. So there's the gold, one rare, four rares, six rares. What's that? Eleven. I still need uh, quite a bit. Okay, so there's all my rares, epic. Okay, so comment. Let's. Wh what are we gonna get for our epic executioner? Three guards. Okay, that's okay. Clan chest mainly is for the gold and the two hundred something cards. Okay, so rap god got a lumberjack from his clan chest. He should be. Why is he complaining? He got a lumberjack. It's a legendary. Okay, that that I think that's good enough. But anyways. You're losing a lot of trophies, so well, I'm sorry, but so here is the deck that did get me to 4112, and it only took me two days. About it only took me about two days to gain all the way from 3,300, as you saw in my last video, to 4,112. So that's a lot. That's 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 like what 700 trophies in two days. So if you guys want this deck, go ahead and copy it. But, uh, I did copy it from a top player, so it's not my deck. It's not my deck. And good thing is, I am first in the clan. But the, but I, I, I know you guys are going to be like, there's two legendaries in this deck, and I have a level 2 princess. First of all, a level 1 and a level 2 princess, there's really no difference. And everything in here, except for these three things, are tourney standard. So a level 7 hog, and, um, a level 10 minion along with the level 2 princess uh, but why don't we just go ahead and battle ones um, except I don't want to use this deck right now but I guess I could show you guys what pushes I do with this deck in training so well I don't have a good start but I am facing a level 12 so I'll just go ahead and first Place my goblin barrel, and you guys do know that trainer is is actually really hard. Okay, I, I bet you, I bet that a lot of you are gonna be like, trainer is like the easiest thing. You could three star them in like ten seconds, but once you pl start playing level ten, level eleven trainer, it actually gets really hard. So look, he has max cards. I believe the only thing he, the trainer at level twelve doesn't have max is legendaries, and it's level four legendaries. So, and his tower has 3,300 health. So, we'll see if we could 3-star this guy before he 3-stars us. 
The only thing that makes Trainer easy is, is that it, it can't think like us, okay? It can't think, oh look, there's a Skarmie, I think I should zap or log it. It's just gonna, you know, place a miner there or something. See, why? Why fire spears for no reason? Oh my gosh. One skeleton left. Um, I don't even know how much elixir trainer has. See, look at that. What is that miner? Um, I think trainer has unlimited elixir. It's just that it's just that it waits to place things. But there we go. There comes the max baby dragon. Deals like what, like 250 damage every hit. Level 13 Spear Goblins, one hit from our two hits on our tower, did over 100 damage. So we'll see if we can get his 3 star now. Oh wait, no, never mind. Oh gosh. Okay, so here's one of the pushes I sometimes do. Hog Goblin Barrel. And I misplaced that Goblin Barrel. But obviously my hog's not gonna get much hits. And he has arrows, really. And you basically just want to cycle back to your Goblin Barrel as fast as you can. Because most people, they either have Zap, the Log. Uh, like, they only usually they usually have one of them and not both. But if they do have both, then you're just going to have to bait them out. Or, or, or trick them. Here, let me show you tricking. So you just, you know, place your Goblin Barrel on the tower first. And the second time, you place it in the back and they miss their Log. And... They're gonna deal a lot of damage on the tower. Obviously, I'm not gonna do a lot of damage right now because. Oh, wait. His tower's. How much does. Oh my gosh. The princess. T the princess won't take that out. And we might get. We're in some trouble here. We gotta log that and take that all out. And don't kill my princess. Okay. So, you could just place your goblin barrel down whenever you want. Well, I mean, make sure you have Alexa first, or else they're going to take advantage, uh, and they're going to get a positive Alexa trade, so let's just place a Hog, and that's going to be over for this round, I believe. Hog's going to make it. Okay, so that's going to be over. But before I end this video, why don't we go into a classic challenge with this troll deck? Um, actually, let's see if we have any friendly battles available, okay? So... Uh, it doesn't look like there's any friendly battles. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just wait a little. Let's see T TV Royale. Hmm, what, what level are these people? These are level 10. They're also at 4,000. But they have... Oh, wrong, wrong thing. But they have level 11 commons. So, let's... Okay, so we'll battle. And I, after this battle... I'll just go ahead and use a troll deck and finish up my classic challenge. Quit spamming me. Um, so, uh, uh, do you have? Do, do you have? To, oh, now you joined back. Well, that's great. What a troller. So we'll see if we can take out his tower and get this over with. Cause obviously. Okay, so there's his miner. Don't ask me what that princess was. We'll see if we can get our ice golem. Okay, we don't need the ice golem. Okay. Skarmy, he's gonna have to care about that with the musketeer. I don't know if he has a log or not. If he did, I'm pretty sure he would have logged that. Um, so the musketeer is gonna meet gonna need to care about that. Let's just log this. And ice golem. The ice golem's death damage should kill the musketeer. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. And his tower is at 2,006 health. Is that from... I believe that's two hits of the hog. That brings it to 2,006. But I'm not sure. So we'll just place our goblin there. Actually, let's wait for our elixir. Let's just get down another hog push. And... Oh god, are you serious? He has an Inferno Tower. So there's his Fireball, there's his Mist Log, once Goblin still alive, dealing over 100 damage onto that tower. See that's, that's what I mean by tricking. You have a tank here and then you mess up your Goblin Barrel place, placement and then they miss it. it. As long as one Goblin survives and hits uh, your their tower, that's almost 100 damage right there. Okay, and they had to waste the Elixir on it. it and if all... If all of your goblins survive, they're gonna have to waste even more elixir trying to uh, counter it. Now, if they're out of elixir, then 
the tower is probably gonna be dumb. So we'll just place our another goblin barrel. The only bad thing is once you do this once, it doesn't work anymore because they're gonna know you're probably gonna trick them and they're gonna wait. But uh, his log was a bit late this time. Good game. Okay, I guess that's good game then. Where's his mega minion? There it is. My ice golem didn't go in front of that. And there's his miner. He's trying to just chip my tower down, but that's not gonna work. He doesn't have enough time. Oh god, okay. Why did I just do that? We'll just do this, and I was hoping that Princess would start targeting the tower. But now it's just gonna be killed by the. Ooh, okay, so it didn't get killed. I, no target. <sighs> really? If we can't get our hog or goblin barrel there, he's actually. He's gonna trip us down. Um, so we're gonna have to wait for that infernal tower to be gone. There's his miss log, and that's gonna be good game because of that miss log. Hopefully, oh my gosh, 22 health left. All we need is to cycle back to another log, and that's gonna be good game. And why don't we just 10% battery? I don't care. And that's gonna be good game. And why don't we go ahead and go into a tournament battle with the troll deck? So basically, it's a uh, executioner troll deck, um, mirror executioner clone. And why don't we go ahead and battle and see if we can at least get this guy's one tower? Give him a thumbs up, and this, and we'll see what we can do. I actually friendly battled a few times before, and actually managed to three star them. So there's his, um. There's his elite barbs, not touching our tower at all. So, he's, if he plays it, the only problem... Okay, so Princess, my Executioner should take care of that. We don't have a... So, I don't know what that Skarmy was. It just got shredded. The Executioner... It's not going to touch the tower. We'll just place an Alexa Collector. If he zaps those skeletons... Okay, so, there's the Goblin Barrel. We'll have to zap. It's not going to take them out. That dealt a lot of damage to our tower, but that's okay. If he mirrors it, or next time we'll just place an executioner on it. It's still gonna get a hit off or so, but it's it's worth it. So I don't know what he's doing. Oh crap! And we'll see if we could prevent most damage. Oh my gosh, he's making me. He, he he's not allowing me to mirror my executioner. Let's place another pump. And start pumping up. Okay, giant skeleton. That's 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 not good. We're just gonna have to pull it over here with our skeletons. And executioner hopefully goes for that princess. No, it will not go for that princess. And the uh, giant skeleton should die now. And so should that. We'll have to zap the goblin barrel. So it does look like we are gonna lose this. We can place another pump down. We're gonna have three pumps down. Yeah, let's go ahead and have three pumps down. Oh, wait, never mind. One's about to die. And we'll have to try to defend against these elite barbs. And obviously, one of them goes for my tower. And because of that, it's probably gonna be a good game. What can we do? We can't, we can really not do much. I can never get my cycle right. So that was kind of a waste of a Skarmy. I, I guess it did this distracting. We'll just place the Executioner in the back. We're gonna have to mirror our Executioner now, finally. Skeleton Army. Zap. And those goblins. Jeez, those goblins are gonna take out my tower. Oh gosh. So we'll go ahead and Executioner. Let's mirror that Executioner. Let's clone all these. Executioner, take them out. Come on, can we make the clutch? Okay, so he's out. He killed like all. Oh my gosh! His giant skeleton is gonna stop that whole entire push. We'll just go from the other side then. Clone, come on. Can we do some damage? That Skarmy. Oh my gosh. So we are gonna lose this battle. Zap, mirror zap. Oh, didn't do any damage. Um, let's see if we could go ahead and start. A push and see if we could actually get his tower but he does have a giant skeleton so that's not good to us mm, what can we do nothing really just place an Alexa collector hopefully that princess will die and it will not die or will it one shot okay there we go one shot 
Okay, so Executioner and Zap kills that. Um, we're gonna have to wait for his elite. Okay, never mind. Is mirror that? Come on, come on. We could we could do this. Um, we could do this. Can, can we clone all? Oh, okay, no point of cloning. Well, actually, yeah. There's no point of cloning. Skeletons. Come on. So, uh, oh gosh. Kill those goblins. Don't. Oh, okay. We are doing okay. Can we get the? Can we get off the clutch win? We have a little less than two minutes to see. Please kill that princess already. Don't let it get off two shots. And it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get off a clutch here. We'll clone these here. And the, oh my gosh, really? His giant skeleton is just shutting it down. Okay. Executioner is that. Um, yeah, we're not gonna be able to get his tower. This is kind of boring, but his princess is gonna get our tower. So, I don't know if he has a zap or something, but let's just clone. Hopefully, he doesn't have another giant skeleton. Mirror clone. A uh, zap. Can that get the tower? Oh my gosh. Are we gonna clutch this? No way. Come on. No way. We actually won. I won with... A troll mirror clone executioner. That's that's just insane. And what was I facing? I, I, I was facing elite barbs with rage with the goblin barrel. Okay. The only good thing is that he had the uh, minion horde and the skarmy, so he couldn't exactly place them down whenever he wanted. Because I did have the executioner and the zap spell. But still, he had the giant skeleton. I don't know how I clutched off that win. Okay. You guys so you guys want to use this deck? Go ahead and copy it. But if there's one thing I could tell you, you go ahead and battle, you're not gonna win. I don't I just I just got lucky that time, I guess. He didn't have a fireball. I don't think he had any spells, so that's probably why I won. But that's gonna be the end of this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to like the video and leave a comment and subscribe for more videos.